So this is actually the same code base that I was uh, using day before yesterday uh, for doing object detection. I have not changed the code much. I have just renamed this class. So I've renamed it Panoptic FPN Standard Data Dicts. It's actually not doing anything with Standard Data Dicts right now. But I just renamed it that because it was earlier Standard Data Dicts. Uh, in case you've seen the code earlier, uh, these are just two lines that I've changed over here. I've just gone ahead and picked up the uh, Coco Panoptic segmentation uh, from the uh, from the config file and from the uh, uh, this thing, uh, the zoo, uh, the model zoo. And once I picked this up from the model zoo and I uh, run this code, for the first time that I run this code, it goes ahead and uh, downloads this uh, particular file, a pickle file, uh, which says model final. Uh, I'm not sure why it says CAF DB1, I'm not really sure. 261 MB got downloaded in uh, 22 seconds on my system. Uh, this was the speed, 100, sorry, 11.5 MB uh, per second. And uh, nothing else I've changed in this code. And uh, so this is, this I've just put in the init for the uh, class. And then, uh, this again, uh, if, if you'll see my code earlier, what I was doing, I have just pulled out these two, uh, uh, you know, input parameters from here, from this, uh, and again, just put a very uh, cursory comment over there saying that uh, panoptic masks uh, with the default predictor. So the default predictor is what I'm calling again. Uh, I have not changed anything here. This is just uh, so that I didn't have to remove this. That's all, nothing else. It's not doing anything right now. Uh, very simple four or five lines of code have been changed and I have just put a, a test image path over here which is uh, different from what I was doing earlier. So earlier I was doing this on Coco images, right? So if you are running the test uh, again on the uh, data set on which you've trained uh, the original, uh, so it's not very, very exciting. So I thought maybe, okay, let's look at some other this thing. And there is the famous uh, Penfudan pedestrian database, okay? Uh, it's called the Penfudan pedestrian database. It has got its own annotations and everything for uh, 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 mask RCNN panoptic segmentation, I think. Uh, let's, let's look at those annotations. Uh, this is one of those annotations compatible with Pascal uh, annotations version. Okay, so this gives you the file name, image size, database, objects with ground truth. So there are two of them and both of them are of the cl uh, class person walking. Yeah, PAS person walking. So any which way, so this is one, just one of the files. Uh, like this, there are a lot of annotation files over here. Uh, but we are not using all of this. What we are using is we are just using transfer learning directly from uh, what has been given as one of the uh, uh, models uh, already pre-trained models uh, by uh, detectron 2 so just going through those uh, you know a list of those images i put four or five images over here and four or five below them and then um, nothing much just doing the uh, visualization and just writing it uh, to a particular file so let's run this code so okay this is where that uh, pen fudan is and uh, okay so this is that file let's see This ran pretty okay a couple of minutes back. I, I hope it runs again pretty much okay. There is not much in this code anyways. Uh, but if it runs fine, we'll be able to see some uh, panoptic segmentation. Why it is taking so much time to initialize, I'm not sure. It shouldn't really uh, be taking so much time to initialize. Uh, there's nothing much in the code anyways. Anyway. So maybe these imports and all are taking some time. Uh, I'll have to cut out some of these imports because I'm probably not using everything now. So I'll have to see. Uh, maybe that is the reason. Yeah, so it's giving you that image file, file name. Uh, okay, file 2, file 3. Okay, so it's gone through that entire list and uh, it has saved the output in our output directory. So, uh, this is the original images. This is the output directory. Okay, and I got this right now. Okay, fine. So, these these I got earlier. So, I'll just show you what I got earlier. Uh, so, that we are aware. So, this is 43, 47 and 48. Three of those images. Uh, so, you see uh, very, very clear uh, masks on the people. Very clear mask on the cycle. It says bicycle 99%, person 99%. Um, 
and this little thing over here i don't know what exactly that is it's not really uh, given it anything uh i think it's got covered within the pavement but which is definitely not the pavement so i don't know what this structure is we can probably have a look later on and rest of it is the background uh, most of them are trees and uh, maybe some building portion over here but all that has got covered in the trees okay and uh, this is this image is definitely more noisy uh, you have okay so you have wall uh, and then trees and this is a traffic sign but the traffic sign uh, gets ignored uh, rest of it person 87% 100% 90% yeah road pavement so it makes a distinction between the road and the pavement and uh, okay handbag 96% uh fire hydrant 98% uh, and rest of it is person in tree uh, okay so this was for the earlier one which i ran a few minutes back and uh, here is for what we did right now uh, some of the images might be the same i am not sure i am not, I'm not checked uh, okay so wall break window tree grass these images are quite uh, clear so you you can actually make out what is happening uh, but uh, let me also show you the actual image so this is the actual image so if you compare this uh, with this other image so yeah you got person grass and those bushes and everything are taken up as tree uh, which is uh, which is quite excellent actually so it takes a bit of that uh, uh, grass uh, as part of that tree so i don't know how that works i'm not really sure so i not gone into the detail of all of this right now but yes and then the second image uh, okay this is the second image did we also get the second image yeah okay again so everything in the background that is i think bamboo and uh, bushes and everything goes into tree uh, wherever you don't see much of greenery on the wall then it goes into the wall person 100% 99% and then there is uh, some distinction it is making between the tree and the grass why does it make that distinction uh, okay so actually shrubbery and bushes and the grass is there definitely so it has made uh, the correct distinction and uh, you can see how how sensitive it is to uh, this you know this bamboo uh, shrub i think and then the wall so immediately it says wall so it's drawn a boundary over there it has given us wall and uh, yeah so pavement road everything is quite distinct so i i think it's quite and then uh, there is a sports ball 89% i don't know i don't remember seeing a sports ball but let's have a look maybe there is a sports ball no that's a round lamp but again uh, yeah quite effective and this is a pre trained model this is this is pure uh, a pre trained model i've done nothing i've done no training nothing i have just picked up from there and i am running it on this data set uh, the pen for done okay yeah so here it is now we can try another uh, set of uh, images there is another set of images right here that we can try okay and over here uh, we went till what number we went till 3 then from here we are starting with 4 5 6 7 7 and onwards with that 7 okay there are four of them yeah it is also okay okay let's run this now uh see this time it is taken less time for in so initialization there is something that is happening which is uh, i don't know takes a few minutes okay now the directory is different so we'll have to close all of this and go into that directory uh, okay so this came out now
okay this is again similar so i won't go into the detail of all of this uh, uh, so we can see it's quite effective uh, even without looking at the original image uh, you can make out this is uh, quite effective right even even the distance it is saying person 100% and it, it is doing a very good job of uh, uh, semantic segmentation and panoptic segmentation both uh, so yeah this is quite uh, decent and uh, there, is, there is no training i have done nothing i have done i have uh, this is all trained on coco this is not trained on uh, penfudan okay so it is trained on coco and these are the results on penfudan so yeah that's that's it for now